what is shown here in this board is are uh, the four uh, stages of uh, development of the nervous system, early development of the nervous system, and this process is called neurulation. Let me describe what are seen in each of these. Uh, this is occurring in the uh, fourth week of intrauterine life. Let me describe what are seen in these pictures. In the first uh, image, you are seeing a, a transverse section of the embryonic disc. This is the transverse section of the embryonic disc in which what is shown as blue is the endo ectoderm. Ectoderm is found on the dorsal aspect of the embryonic disc. This is the dorsal aspect. And this shown in the ventral aspect of the embryonic disc is the endoderm. And sandwiched between these two represented as white is the mesoderm. And in the midline of the mesoderm, you have a rod-like structure and that is called the notochord. What you are seeing is here a circle is the section of the rod-like notochord. So dorsal to the notochord you have the ectoderm and ventral to the notochord you have the endoderm. Now what happens is just the ectoderm just dorsal to the notochord will become specialized. It will differentiate. This notochord will induce the ectoderm dorsal to it to specialize into a neural tissue and that is called the neural ectoderm. So it forms a neural ectoderm or the neurectoderm and the neurectoderm or the neural plate will not remain there it will invaginate towards the notochord. So it will invaginate and form a groove and this structure is called the neural groove. What is shown here in different color is the neural plate. So the neural plate is forming a neural groove uh, and uh, that the groove is formed in the, towards the notochord. Now in the next stage you can see that the groove has uh, elaborated more and it has formed two uh, folds on both sides of that groove. And that folds will become so close together as time elapses and they will fuse together and that will form a neural tube. So you can see how these two will fuse together and it will form a neural tube so that the ectoderm will again maintain its continuity. So in this stage you can see that the notochord has a neural tube dorsal to it and dorsal to that you have the ectoderm and the ventral to the notochord you have the endoderm. So this is the, these are the four sequential stages of neurulation. So what you have seen here was the, uh, on the dorsal aspect you had the ectoderm, you had the mesoderm which is sandwiched between the ectoderm and the endoderm. The endoderm is on the ventral aspect. Now if I am going to uh, take this into space so that you can imagine this in the space. You have ectoderm on the dorsal aspect of the embryonic disc. You have endoderm on the ventral aspect of the embryonic disc and between that, between these two uh, layers, you have the mesoderm sandwiched between it. Now, if this is the cranial end of the embryonic disc, this is the embryonic disc and this is the cranial end and this is the caudal end and this is the craniocaudal axis, then the notochord lies within the mesoderm in this midline, in this craniocaudal axis with the ectoderm above and the endoderm below with the mesoderm between it. Now if I turn this, this craniocaudal axis uh, towards this direction, this is the orientation of the uh, notochord. You have the ectoderm here, you have the endoderm below it. Now where you have the orientation of the notochord, just to dorsal to it, the, endoderm, the ectoderm will specialize into the neurectoderm. So you have an ectoderm here which changes into a neurectoderm uh, in the place dorsal to the notochord. And again this place will also be the ectoderm. And this new ectoderm will start to invaginate. It will invaginate, invaginate ventrally, creating a neural groove. The neural groove with two lips. So you have to imagine that there is an ectoderm with a groove in the midline, with a specialized neural tissue. That is a neural groove with two lips approximating each other. And as time progresses, the two lips will come close together and they will nip off from the ectoderm. So the ectoderm will again be continuous with the neural tube formation throughout the length of dorsal to the notochord. So now you have a continuous ectoderm, a neural tube ventral to the ectoderm, ventral to the neural tube you have the notochord and ventral to the notochord you have the endoderm. So if you review once more, you have endoderm, you have the mesoderm, in the midline you have notochord, dorsal to the notochord you have a complete neural tube those of the neural tube you have the intact ectoderm. This neural tube will form the brain, cranial and the spinal cord cordial. That is the central nervous system.